subscribe to our, our, our YouTube channel and you can like and share all our other pages and platforms and the Lord himself will truly bless you. In that particular angle of the world, he never changes means he has a nature of faithfulness. If he gives you a word, he cannot change because it's a nature. He's faithful to that word that he gives you. He's faithful to keep that word that he gives you. He appeared to a man at the age of seven. There was Abraham and said to me, I will make you a great nation. And out of you and through you shall all the families of the earth be blessed. He gave him the word. Abraham took off, he said, just leave where you Abraham took off. In Genesis chapter 12, verse 10, scripture says there was a great famine, and Abraham went down to Egypt. God didn't ask him to go down to Egypt. He went down to Egypt. God was, was offended that he went down to Egypt because he moved out of the will of God. But God still remained faithful because the nature is that he never... He didn't hear me. What was the nature of? He still came back, sir. In Genesis chapter 18. In Genesis chapter 15, reminding him, Genesis chapter 17, reminding him of the covenant. In chapter 18, in the destruction of Solomon and Gomorrah, he said to Abraham, Your wife said, I shall not bring her to the child. Faithfulness to God. Give me Genesis 21, we read verse 1. 21, verse 1. Genesis, everybody look that one. Look at the Bible. What happened? Let me hear you again. Read it like a minute again. Read it again like you mean it. Like you know how to read. The Lord kept his word and did for Sarah exactly what he has promised. Now, can you stand up, go to five pennies, <coughs> greet them, and say, God is too faithful to fail. And he is a keeper of his word. And he is a keeper of his word. He is a keeper of his word. He is a keeper. Of his word. He's a keeper 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 of his word. Am I talking to somebody? And if you've done that, you can be seated. Therefore, I give you a small one definition of prayer. It's now from under our teaching and defining prayer on various dimensions in the scriptures. Look at it. The Lord kept his word and did for Sarah exactly what he had promised. I'll define prayer from here. What is prayer? Prayer is giving God back his words, which he has promised you. From the place of encounter, diverse encounter. Is giving God back his word because you're talking. What should I be talking when I come to the place to pray to God, to talk to God? What do I need to talk to God? Is what? The preacher said what? Giving God back his word. That he has promised you in diverse encounters, diverse encounters. In Genesis chapter 12, he gave Abraham a word. In Genesis chapter 
14, he gave Abraham a word. 15, he gave him a word. 17, he gave him a word. 18, he gave him a word. He's giving God back his word. In the same similitude of the definition, what is prayer? Prayer is rehearsing what God has told you. Rehearsing what God has told you. Rehearsing what God has promised you. Rehearsing it in the ears of God. Rehearsing is like a rehearsal. Rehearsal. Rehearsal, 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 rehearsal. This is the kind of prayer I came that I am preaching in the one and I'm saying now that you should listen. It is rehearsing. Someone say rehearsing. Yes. I want you to hear say rehearsing. Yes. Let me hear you say rehearsing. Yes. What God has done what? Told you in the place of diverse encounters. Say diverse encounters. Diverse Why should you pray this kind of prayer? Number one, this kind of prayer makes you to pray according to the will of God. This kind of prayer cannot miss. He say you ask and you receive not because you pray at peace. Many people pray a prayer that is not even in accordance to what God wants for your life. But when God has told you something, you can hold him on that thing. Oh my God. Am I talking to a child of God here? This kind of prayer keeps you in alignment in the will of God. John said, this is the confidence that we have. That if we ask anything according to his will, then he hears us and will answer us. This is the confidence if we ask anything according to his will. So James, uh, James said, ask. John asked because scriptures interpret scripture by the law of biblical hermeneutics. James didn't tell you what to pray, what to ask. He just said, ask. Now, John tells you, asking has to go in a cup down to his will. So you don't just ask everything because God does not answer everything. Am I talking to somebody? God answers things that are pertaining to his will and his agenda for your life. And therefore, if you pray the prayer that of the things God has spoken to you concerning you, then you will be in alignment in the order of His will. Somebody say, I hear you. I, I can't hear you. Say, I hear you. I hear you. Say, yes, I hear you. I hear you. Number two. What does such prayer do to you? Such kinds of prayer. When you pray them, it increases your confidence level. This is the confidence. This is the confidence that we have. You pray with confidence. You don't pray with doubt. You don't pray with us. You know, some people are praying, God, Father, if it is your will, have you ever seen that kind of act? You don't pray those conditional prayers. Father, if it is your will, Father, if you want me to go abroad, okay, open the door. If you don't want me to close the door, let the door not close. Father, if you want me to manage my manage my, you don't want me Father, oh, if you want me to do this business, find the one, show me a sign, show me a sign, show me a sign. Oh, Father, you know whatever, show me, show me, show me, show me. Oh, that here, that here. They are shooting the arrows in any kind of a man, shooting the father. Father, you know now, Father, oh, 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 Father, oh, Father, oh, Father, let me not pass this place in your place. Oh, let me not, oh, oh, Father. After you hit that one hour and you discover that, you are trained about 40 prayers that were not God's prayer. You are just praying on conditional prayers, probabilities prayers, and all that. But this prayer, you pray in confidence. You pray with a degree of certainty. Who am I talking to somebody here? You pray with a lot of assurance, a lot of confidence. You can even quote the date. Father, on the 22nd of this, this day, you appeared to me and said this. I have waited, it has not yet come to pass. Your word says, Give the Lord no rest until he establishes Jerusalem. I will warn you, morning after me, you will not sleep. Uh, Papa, you will not sleep. You will establish you. You will do this for me. That's a prayer. Lepakata. Shaba kwanta. Azua kalaba kwanta. You're not praying 
unrealistic prayer. Because you have so am I talking to somebody here? Number three, what does this kind of prayer do to you? This prayer makes you to arrest God. You can arrest God.